Maybe I'm an asshole, but I think it's more disrespectful to actually think you can submit JT. So we are here at Gasworks Park in Seattle. Um, it's a crazy view right now. It's getting dark, sun's going down a little bit, so it's getting a little colder. It's been beautiful for like the last three days, and I was like, I'm not staying inside. All I do is do jujitsu and then uh, make YouTube videos, so I need to get outside today. But going into this week, it's gonna be a pretty eventful week. We're nearing the end of our tournament camp for the Revolution. That should be coming up in three weeks now. But going into the next three weeks, we're really gonna start getting into the grind and uh, getting getting into some tough rounds. So I wanna share that with you guys and take you, take you through those hard rounds, show you what I'm doing, and um, most importantly, give you guys the blueprint on how to be prepared for your first competition. I know it can be pretty scary going in, you know, you're both trying to break each other and you both probably don't know how to efficiently yet. So um, I'm gonna give you guys some insight on that. So recently I had someone comment on one of my recent videos. Uh, Quote, I don't know, man, maybe I'm an asshole, but I think it's more disrespectful to actually think you can submit JT. What's respectful is being confident he's gonna F you up, but learning in the process. I was rolling with JT Torres. Now JT is a two-time ADCC champion, which basically means he's the fucking guy. He is one of the most accomplished athletes ever in the sport, and I had the opportunity to get around in with him. Now, during this round, I stated that I genuinely believe that I could submit him. You are made of stupid. Now, that's a wild statement to make and a wild claim to make, but in context, my point is, is that everybody in Jiu-Jitsu is an obstacle or an equation, and we just have to figure out how to solve that obstacle or equation. And regardless of who is across the mat from you, they there's a solution to them. There's a way to beat them, and that, that goes for everybody. So I want to touch on that, um, but also throughout today, I'm going to be taking you guys through the match test competition class and uh, show you why it's so special and why this mindset is so important when preparing for competition, such as the competition that I'm preparing for right now, which is the revolution. All right, guys, so I'm here with Julian. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> okay, so Julian is getting ready for his first competition soon. Julian has is, uh, is one of the few down group students that has advanced to up group fairly, fairly fast. And the difference between down and up group, down group is younger, getting started. Um, up group, they're a little older and a little bigger and stronger, but he's, he's working up with- uh, Advanced. And advanced, yes. But he trains with the older kids and he trains with um, seven and eight year olds and you're only just, just turned six, right? So how do, you, how do you approach those types of rounds mentally? I'm sure you're afraid and scared, right? Right, but you, you continue to do it anyway, right? Yeah, I, I continue to do it anyways. So usually, like, <clears throat> like people that I'm a little afraid and scared of, mm -hmm. because like it's just gonna be pretty hard. But like, I usually just try my hardest mm -hmm. and try to make moves perfect as perfect as I can. Mm -hmm. I like that answer, and I think that's super important because when we face tougher opponents, it's tougher and stronger and bigger, we have to have full belief in our technique and, and really believe that we're going to, you know, be able to execute our game against these people. And we, there's no room to, to doubt ourselves. So that was, a, that was a good answer. Proud of you, dude. Now, Jameson's been talking a lot of trash, saying he can submit me, acting like he won't get... Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Game isn't over. Game isn't over. Julian, can we pull guard? Julian, pull guard. Good. All right. All right, we got to get out of close guard now, Jameson. Hand on the collar, hand on the knee, hand on the knee. Head up, head up. Focus on the match, you do both doing guard planks. Let's get this takedown now. Nice. Jameson, we got to stand up. Let's create, create movement. Yes, scissor the hips. Keep that underhook, Julian. That underhook is everything. It's 
We can transition to back, Julian. Mount, beautiful. Let's see single. Nice sprawl to the back. Grab headlock, headlock, headlock. Keep those hips, keep those hips down. Pull them, pull them forward. Put his hands on the mat. Drop to your knees, Jamie, Julian. Drop to your knees. Drop to your knees. Drop to your knees. Good, good, good. Get his hands on the mat. Let's do it again. Do it again. Do it again. Do it again. All right, all right. We're gonna spin to the back now. Pull them forward. Spin to the back. Pull them forward. Go to the back. Pull them forward. Go to the back. All right. Let's let's pull him. Drag. Keep his hands on the mat. Hands on the mat. Hands on the mat. We gotta get to the back now. Hands on the mat. Nice. Nice, drive forward, Jameson. All right, Jameson, cut, knee cut, knee cut. Up, up, on our hips, on our hips. Good, push that knee over, push that knee over. All right, on our feet, Jameson, on our feet, Jameson. Nice, pull his arm in, pull his arm in. All right, so after some wise words from Julian and um, some really good rounds in the kids class, we're now gonna pre prepare for the adult session and the way this the way today is gonna to start off is we're gonna do, we're gonna jump directly into competition rounds. The purpose of this is to try to replicate tournament as much as possible. So we go to as far as um, we have groups of three, one person stands in the middle, they call up two people from the wall, we shake hands, pero, or fa uh, <laughs> we just went over vocabulary in the kids class today too, but they go um, compach, and then you fight, um, we're keeping track of points, keeping track of everything, and uh, winner gets the hand raised, send them back to the wall, rotate. All right, let me paint the picture here. So this is Alex. He's been one of my main training partners throughout the camp so far, and he's a phenomenal wrestler and also a few weight classes ahead of me. Now, I've always been afraid to take shots on him because I know he comes from a wrestling background. I know if I shoot and I fuck up in any way, he's gonna sprawl on my face and that shit's gonna hurt. But I heard a really good quote from the Grappling Podcast and I wanted to share that with you. Don't look at the belt. This is a person with four limbs, you know, mechanics are mechanics. Go into it and use your best approach here. Now, the thing that stuck out to me the most about what he said was mechanics are mechanics. And that's such a real fact. And if I were to go up to Jordan Burroughs and shoot a perfect double leg with a perfect setup, with a perfect finish, he would be taken down. Now, I don't know which claim is more crazy, the fact that I would double leg Jordan Burroughs or submit JT. Either way, both of those are insane to believe, but the fact still remains, mechanics are mechanics. And with that being said, I really have to buy into that mindset as I'll be going to my first advanced division, and this will be the first time on the mat with black belts, staring down black belts. And if we look at that on paper, they're gonna destroy me. They are black belts, I'm a blue belt. So what am I even doing here? But being aware that there is a way to win, there is a path to victory, is a superpower within itself. To kind of wrap up this topic, the other part of being confident and how you actually become confident in jiu-jitsu is by preparing correctly for tournaments or preparing for these situations. For example, during this tournament camp, I have been super strict about how I'm training and making sure that I'm developing the proper responses to the problems that my opponent creates for me. And so when I go into these matches or rounds where I know the guy is 10 times better than me, I know that I've been putting in the work to be as good as I can be in this period, and I know that I've built a reliable system that's been tested and tried, and I can fall back on it with confidence. But that's gonna wrap it up there. I am two days out from my first ever advanced division, so if you guys are interested in seeing me confidently get my ass kicked, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below, and make sure to give this video a like to help support me and my journey in the sport of jiu-jitsu. So that's it for today, and go pass some cards.